boards and the executives want to know, are we getting a good return on our investment? Are we spending money in the right places? Are we able to stop this latest threat? We often hear it's a challenge to answer this question and be able to prove it with empiric data. So that's what we want to talk about today is proving your cybersecurity return on investment. I used to hear it all the time. You can't prove a negative, so we have no way of knowing our return on investment for cybersecurity products. However, with SiteGain, we can test your system to provide you the data you need to understand performance. I used to help a large federal agency manage its cybersecurity program. Do you want to know how they made decisions about which cybersecurity products they were going to buy? It was whatever Brian said. Who's Brian? It doesn't really matter. It's just that he had a big personality and no one had any data to argue against his opinion. So the agency wasted millions of dollars on solutions because Brian said so. We have to change that approach. The SiteGain Readiness Platform tests your system against adversary threats and gathers performance data. We gather this data against all of the cost centers in cyber, people, process, and technology. Next, we look at the overall value of the organization. What's at stake? How much could be at risk from cyber? And we translate the performance of your cyber tools against this value to understand risk exposure and how each component of your system contributed to reducing the overall risk. Finally, with the performance information for each part of the system, we can look at the costs to see which components have a good return on investment given their performance. Yeah. The biggest challenge that an organization needs to overcome in identifying and improving their ROI is identifying the overall value and exposure that organization has. Sometimes this information is nuanced and it takes a little bit of work to suss it out. However, it can be done and it's important to understand what's being protected, how much is that worth, and how do we do it. So in review, take this information across people, process, and technology, marry that up with the overall risk of the organization, and figure out how much each component has contributed to reducing that risk, and then finally matching that up with the cost of each of those solutions to figure out, did we get a return on our investment for this part of our system versus another, as well as informing investments in the future to say, what solution should we choose and why? And is it going to have a good return on investment before we ever make a decision? Click the link below to find out more about how we understand cyber risk and how you can prove your ROI on a daily basis.